What's up guys? Quick question. When you see this garage, what do you think is missing? I'll give you a second. If you said a customized monster and a 2017 Daytona 675 from Triumph, you are absolutely correct. Now, what would you think the odds are of both of those bikes being ready to be picked up at the same time are? It's, a, it's actually really good because both of those bikes are ready to be picked up today at their separate locations. So, we're going to go bike shopping? We're going to go bike picking up? Whatever that word is. Roll an intro. Sorry, had to grab a hat because I really need a haircut and I ain't about to deal with that hair. Okay, now we can go. Alrighty, our first stop is Hourglass Cycles. I don't even know the town this is in, but we're gonna grab the Triumph because it was the farthest one away and that little Jeep has, it struggles to carry two <laughs> bikes at a time on that little trailer. So uh, let's pick up this Daytona. What the hell happened? What is that? The Modus? Yeah, he wired it, dumped it anyway. I've never heard of a Modus. Oh, so. dude, you haven't? No. So what is like? It's a muscle bike. It's a sport tour. It's got a V4, a okay. 1650, 165 horsepower. Holy um, cow! It's uh, pretty much like a uh, Corvette uh, short block uh, push rod engine. It holds the land speed record on the uh, Bonneville Salt Flats for push rod motors, and they actually rode the bike from Birmingham to Bonneville <laughs> and back. Okay. Um, and uh, it's been in production, or it's actually been in the works for five to six years. They just went to production in uh, 2015. The last bike I sold at Riders Hill was an MSTR. And the MSTR has the Olin suspension, carbon fiber wheels, gotcha. um, all the upgrades. Um, amazing motorcycle. You ever heard one run? I haven't, but now I've, I've seen one. So now that's a thing. I hope that Modus. comes through in that video. <laughs> Modus.com. That's awesome. I assume that one's mine, right? Yep. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, the Daytona. All, uh, oh, all crayfish. She's a beauty. All oh, crayfish. She's a beauty. I don't know if I've told you guys yet, but uh, the we came to the assessment that it was bad gas. So there she is. Get one last good ride in on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. So yeah, they tried replicating the problem and uh, I think I know the gas station that I put the gas in that bike. It's up in the mountains. It's kind of a sketchy gas station. I'm just going to have to totally avoid that gas station from now on because it's happened on the R6, I think, before where I've got gas at that place and it was all sketchy. So that place is a no-go from now on. Anyway. We're gonna load this baby up. All right, guys, got the Daytona on there. Um, I'm gonna use the little wheel choke at first, chalk, choke, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Uh, it works great if you only have one bike on there. So whenever we go grab the Monster, we're gonna have to take the Daytona off and split the bikes across. I've got enough little straps, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, the Jeep motor thing, we'll find out. All right, to Mountain Motorsports for bike number two. Guys, I almost forgot to tell you, the Daytona is not the only cute thing I got with me today. You think he's cute? Is that a bad word to use for a bike? Hey guys, Chase thinks the Daytona is cute, so <laughs> that's a thing. If you guys don't know, that is my wife Heather. Most of you probably know who that is, but 
If you didn't, now you do. And with the magic of editing, we are now at Mountain Motorsports, and you guys didn't have to go through that terrible drive with what the hell. Yeah, let's go get the monster. All right, let me know. I said, just let me know. What are you over there giggling about? Sir, I would like your fanciest monster. <laughs> okay. Well, I knew I shouldn't have asked for the fanciest monster. Oh, it is that one. Dang it. Dude, that monster don't look bad. You guys did so much work to it. I appreciate it. Well, the keys and I'll see you guys on yeah, the next one. We converted it to a four valve water cooled. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You converted it to a four valve water cooled. What else did you do to the monster? It looks, it looks great. Uh, custom steering dampener, full paint job, redesigned the whole tail section. Gotcha. So guys, um, this is the work they did on the monster. I'm not, um, I'm not sure what happened here. Yeah, I know. Well, well we got them powder coated black. After then, they were black, we got them red. After the engine black. swap of the 1200. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. what it is. I forgot to tell you guys that we were engine swapping it to it a 1200R. Well now too. Yeah, ones. yeah, because we wanted the full old ones the first time and we never got it. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's the new monster. I'm just kidding. Unfortunately, that's, that's <laughs> not. Don't get too excited. Hey, look what they did to the monster. It's a totally brand new motorcycle that is not my monster at all. <laughs> Man, Ducati, Ducati, do, 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 cut. Honda. Blinkers, right now, let's go, let's, let's do it. Check. Woo! Okay, last time didn't work like that. Oh, who needs a gimbal when you got these steady hands? Oh, cinematic shot of the move. Oh, that's okay, it worked. It's all right, it happens. I pretend to know a lot too. Well, that does not work like I originally expected. There you go. Oh, it was in gear. Oh, it's in neutral already. How convenient. Okay, well, hope our Jeep doesn't break down. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait, look at the Jeep. Look at the suspension in the front too. Jeep compass. It's a little weighted, okay? Okay, so the last time that, ironically, Heather and I were in this Jeep and we had this many motorcycles on the back of it was 2015. 2015 Texas meetup. Uh, me, Heather, and Do It With Dan had Do It With Dan CBR, his Grom, and my R6 in the back. And legit, this little Jeep Compass has not driven the right way since that. So, this is going to be real interesting. You excited, babe? Yeah, that's one way to say it. Okay, well, we will see you guys at the house or on the side of the road going to AAA. Quick little update. Uh, we're here at the post office sending out some ride apparel orders and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see back there, but so far so good. Both bikes are a little leaned like into the trailer, but it's been going fine. We've been going really slow. Also, the look of the Triumph at the corner of this thing. Look at it. Right there. Look at it. So good. So excited to have that bike back. Oh, here she come, though. Good news, everybody. We actually made it home. I've moved these two bikes up, so hopefully there's enough space right here for uh, both the other bikes. So I'm going to get them unloaded off the trailer. Can't see where I live because privacy. All right, let's get the bikes in here.
I know you all missed having that really packed garage full of motorcycles, right? Gosh, I know I did. Don't worry, babe. These two will be gone soon. All right, dudes. Monster home. Triumph home. I am so excited to fig finish the big production video with that so I can start customizing that thing. And this is the old girl leaving soon. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video of me bringing my two bikes home. They are finally safe and sound for a little while, at least for the monster. I will uh, see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It is always much appreciated. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. You guys ride safe, and I'll see you later.